Since Taylor Swift's newest album, The Tortured Poets Department, has come out, people have had a lot to say. And some of the things people have been saying have been pretty ridiculous, so I thought that I would react to the worst Tortured Poets Department takes that I've seen. But don't worry, it's not all bad, because at the end of this video, I will be showing my all-time favorite Tortured to Poet. Tortured to Poet. Poet to Poet. I will be showing my all-time favorite Tortured Poets Department take that I've seen. Here we go. Okay, this one is particularly annoying because people have been saying this for every Taylor Swift album for the last five years. Oh, the lake's a goodbye song. Oh, daylight's a goodbye song. Oh, it's time to go is a goodbye song. Oh, dear reader is a goodbye song. So no, no, no. This is not a goodbye song. She's just talking about her feelings. The manuscript is her reviewing her past through her songs and saying that now it's ours to relate to. That is not her saying goodbye. Get a grip. She has talked about how society wants her to feel washed up as a woman in music who's in her 30s. She's not gonna say goodbye. She's gonna keep doing this as long as she can. It's like therapy for her to write songs. And if you check out my other video ranking unhinged TTPT lyrics, girl needs therapy. What? No, we all... I mean, yes, we all went into the album expecting to hate Joe, but no, we did not all come out of this liking Maddie. Yes, I, I love the person that Taylor describes as the smallest man who ever lived, who was sent here by someone who wanted her dead. What? I think this one was written by a 12-year-old because this would never ever happen, nor do I want it to. No, Taylor, not everything Taylor Swift writes has to be about a man. Yes, some things in the album are a metaphor for men and vice versa. Men is a metaphor for her feelings. However, Taylor Swift writing about her struggles with alcoholism and drinking for the past five years is not a metaphor for Maddie Healy. So, I'm not sure how good this guy's reading comprehension is, but if he just looks up above the lyrics, we'll see the name of the song is So High School. A song about a relationship making you feel like you're in high school, doing teenage things you never got to experience before. That's why, that's, that's... If you're enjoying this so far, you should subscribe because I talk about Taylor Swift and me and the person I share this channel with, their name is Soul. We post a podcast every week talking about movies and some other things. We also play games together. Here's a funny clip. All right, we got a word here. Pussy. No, get off of my controls. I saw a lot of posts like these and they kind of drove me crazy because reading comprehension is dead, I guess. But I feel like it's pretty obvious that this line is about growing up as a child in the very toxic music industry and just public eye in general. This whole album really is about how painful it is and how much it messes you up to grow up in the music industry, especially this song. It's not literal. It's a, it's, it's a metaphor. It's, it's a metaphor. It's not a literal asylum where she literally grew up. It's a metaphor. And I feel like people understand when any other artist or actor or anyone talks about horrors of growing up famous. So why, when Taylor Swift talks about it, suddenly comprehension is dead? I don't know. Same song, reading comprehension is still dead. This is my favorite song in the album, so the fact that the general public, I guess, can't comprehend the lyrics is concerning to me to say the least. Basically, this is, I was a kind person until being forced to perform for the public made me less kind, but don't worry, I can't bite because they forced me to be gentle still, even though I don't feel it on the inside. Are we, are we there? Are we caught up? I hope so. Preach into the choir here. Maybe literacy is dead because the kids don't know who Aristotle is. Open the schools. This one pisses me off because Taylor Swift is not saying she's the victim, especially in this album. In this album, she's like, damn, relationship didn't work out because we went our different ways and then I had a rebound that I was kind of crazy about and then I got ghosted. She's not victimizing herself and she also makes it very clear not to attack the people she writes about in the past when during her re-recordings. So she's not like, fuck these people, I'm the victim. I feel like that's kind of clear. She's writing about her own feelings and how she feels. It's just telling her side of the story, which is totally okay. Other people can tell their side of the story if they wish. New line in So High School is, you know how to ball. I know Aristotle, but I've only read him because I know he was a not so nice guy and I don't approve of those actions. 
That rhymes really nice, has a great ring to it, very catchy, very good. As someone who loves Sirius Black, my favorite fictional character, Marauders, my comfort fictional character found family group, I love the idea that the Black Dog is about Sirius Black, that's why it was the one I bought before the songs were out, so I didn't know if I liked it. That's why I bought that one, because I love Sirius Black. However, the song is very literal. The song is not about Sirius Black. I've even seen this extend so far to Taylor Swift is the author of All the Young Dudes because the person who wrote it has 89 in their username. And while I love that theory, I do not think it's true. <sighs> How is it out of touch if it's just about her experience performing while healing from a heartbreak. The song is supposed to have sad lyrics and happy vibes because it's supposed to make you feel how she felt excitedly performing while feeling heartbreak on the inside. That's the point. That's the point of the song. That's the point of the song. If you don't get that, maybe you could go back to high school English class. Same song, entirely different vibe. This time instead of not getting it because you don't like it, this time they don't get it when they do like it. No, we cannot all agree to do that. That's kind of the, also the point of the song. You missed the point. The point flew over everyone's heads, I think. It's not a good thing that the crowd is chanting more. I also don't think it's specifically talking about the crowd during the concert. It's more like people stalking her, you know? I've just seen a lot of bad takes about the I hate it here lyric about racism. So I'm just gonna leave this here. This speaks for itself. <laughs> Okay, this is really annoying because the second track of the album, the title track, The Tortured Poets Department, tells you that this album has layers to it. There's two levels to the album's meaning, right? On the one hand, it's on the surface, it's a concept album. She is the chairman of the Tortured Poets Department, and this album is defending her actions for the past year, right? Then you listen to the second track on the album, not very far down, not hard to get to. You see that this, the, the next layer of this album is it's making fun of both her exes, who would describe themselves as tortured poets, like... My dog is whining. Say hi, bug. Do you like Taylor Swift? It's making fun of her exes who would describe themselves as tortured poets, very pretentious artist-y type of bros. We have Joe, who's part of the Tortured Man Club group chat. And you have Maddie, who this song is making fun of because why do you carry around a typewriter and think you're a poet bro? Like she's making fun of him in the song. She's like, dude, you think we are sophisticated poets? We're not, we're idiots. That's the point, that's the point, that's the point. <laughs> But all this is okay, because even though there are some people who don't get it, there are some people who really get it. I love this one because it's so true and it's why I like this album so much. You would think Midnight's would be the culmination of everything being the 10th and then the Airs tour, but no, no, this is it. This combines all the aspects of everything she's ever done. It's beautiful, that's why I love this album so much. I actually love this album so much because I like rock music and I like folklore, you know, this album combines, it combines. What's the worst take you've seen about Taylor Swift, comment it down below. Peace out, YouTube.